I will keep America moving forward, always forward, for a better America, for an endless, enduring dream and a thousand points of light. This is my mission, and I will complete it. Before a cheering Republican crowd, George Bush in August accepted the party's nomination as its candidate for president. It was a podium familiar to Bush. He was there in 1980 and 1984 as the Republican vice presidential candidate. Now he hopes to defy the odds and become the first sitting vice president since 1836 to be elected president. George Herbert Walker Bush is a product of the confident, optimistic America of the 20s. Born in 1924 into a large, affluent New England family. His father, a banker and later a senator from Connecticut, passed on to his son a tradition of service to the nation. So, following graduation from high school, George Bush enlisted in the Navy. At 18, he was the youngest Navy fighter pilot in World War II. Bush won four medals and was shot down in combat over the Pacific. So I'm floating around in this raft, paddling, and then all of a sudden saw this conning tower come up and saw the submarine surface. Guy standing up in the top of it taking a picture. We still have the picture of it. After the war, George Bush, like many soldiers, enrolled in college. At Yale University, he graduated with honors in economics. He emerged with qualities of leadership and the desire to excel. He was captain of the baseball team and married three years before his graduation in 1948. George Bush had his pick of posh jobs on Wall Street, but instead he headed to the oil fields of Texas. He spent long hours selling supplies to the riggers, an experience he said helped him get into the real world. Bush co-founded a company that...